Our spring walk is full of many plants you might recognize. Azaleas or rhododendrons, primulas, a range of other annual flowering plants, magnificent wisterias, trained as standards. But I've come to see a plant you probably won't recognize, an unusual plant that comes from the USA and into Mexico. Shrub with the dark green leaves and these unusual kind of dark red burgundy flowers is called Elysium floridanum and just cross one of the leaves and it has quite a strong smell. Flowers also have quite a strong smell although it's a little bit fishy. The leaves though smell like anise and this is related to star anise, Elysium verum, but this plant's not edible. It comes from the southern states of the USA where it's often found growing in swamps. So it's perfect for this bit of our spring walk, which tends to have slightly poorer drainage and stay a little bit wetter. But it also grows in montane forests in Mexico. Now the flowers are unusual in many ways, one of the unusual things about the flowers is they generate their own heat. So they're thermogenic flowers and that may help with their pollination. So they're pollinated by um, little flying insects, uh, little fungal gnats and other very small flies that are attracted to both the smell and perhaps the heat generated from the flowers. We know in a couple of other species of Elysium that heat generation is really important for flies that are laying their larvae. But in this case, it may just help attract those little flies. Now, this plant's also very interesting because it's a member of a family, Skysandraceae, which is one of the surviving ancient plant lineages that we see today. So it branched very early in the story of flowering plants this family and, and the plants are still around today so far from being described as primitive perhaps they're better described as a success story 